Astronomers have detected bands of clouds on the nearby brown dwarf Lumen 16a. Brown dwarfs are more massive than the largest planets, but too small to burn hydrogen in their cores like stars. Lumen 16a is part of a brown dwarf pair that is only six light years away, the closest of its kind to Earth. That is much too far to see surface features even with the largest telescopes. Still, astronomers think they have found cloud bands in its atmosphere, similar to those on Jupiter. The result comes from careful measurements of the polarization of Lumen 16a's emitted light. Light is a wave of electric and magnetic fields. These waves can be oriented in any direction. The direction of each wave's oscillation is called its polarization. Most light sources produce randomly oriented waves. We call that light unpolarized. However, if the light waves are in the same direction, we say they are polarized. A device called a polarizer lets us measure light polarization. A polarizer transmits light with matching orientation. It blocks light with the opposite orientation. Unpolarized light will pass through the polarizer at any orientation. When light scatters off a surface, it can become polarized. A properly oriented polarizer can block this reflected light. This is how polarized sunglasses reduce glare. They preferentially block light scattering off a surface. Light can also become polarized from scattering off gas and dust particles in an atmosphere. If you rotate your head while wearing polarized sunglasses, you can see this effect in the sky. The amount of light that gets polarized tells us about the gas and particle properties in the atmosphere. Polarization studies have helped us understand the atmospheres of the other planets in the solar system. Now, astronomers are using polarized light to study objects outside the solar system, brown dwarfs. The light from a brown dwarf originates deep within its atmosphere, glowing with warmth from its formation. This unpolarized light becomes polarized when it scatters off high-altitude hazes in the atmosphere. If the atmosphere is uniform, the polarization around the rim will average out to an unpolarized glow. However, if cloud bands reduce the light along parts of the rim, there will be an excess polarization. To explain their measurements of Lumen 16a, astronomers considered many different cloud models. This was the best match and the first time polarization measurements have detected cloud bands outside the solar system. This technique can be applied to other brown dwarfs and perhaps someday to planets orbiting other stars.